A lot of people are going Give to love him this a chance team. to prove himself. Oh, and there he is, the man of the hour. Come on. <laughs> hey, check this out, MP. I want you to meet somebody that is very important. Okay. The great Bobby Miles. Oh. You can call me Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby. My man, it's been a long time in the making, man. It's great to finally meet you, man. Mm -hmm. Pete. What's up, man? Talk to me. Hey, it's Peter. Please. All right, Petey, you Little got Petey it. Little Petey here is helping me with my marketing plan. Ain't that right, Petey? Yes, sir. Uncle Bobby's taking care of everything. Now, I've been caffeinating my city for the better part of two decades, MP, but I'm not the kind of guy to rest on my laurels, so I'm going national. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys. Now, in order for that to happen, I'm going to need a marketing plan with some serious muscle. And there's few more serious in this city than my boy Petey. I appreciate that. Ooh, I dig it. I dig that. I just got one quick question for you. The billboard outside my office, a chef, <clears throat> going national, huh? That's outside your office. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is. That is unfortunate. I, now, I apologize for that, son. But it just so happens to be the most traffic billboard in the city, so mm -hmm. I'm sure you understand. Listen, I, I'm just messing with you. I understand. Um, but there is one thing I am trusting you, though. Why would you guys want a guy like Chef representing you? Oh, no. I mean, he doesn't align with your core values, man. But you do. I got that right. Absolutely. I mean, unlike Chef, I, you know, I love my community, so I do a lot of community work. Yeah, I mean, Chef, all he really cares about is how big his next chain is going to be, right? Lil Petey, Lil Petey. Look, tell him how much I care. Tell him, man. Look, look, this isn't personal, MP. What are you talking about, man? MP attended my leadership conference. Okay, it was a good afternoon, I but there was some... I also sat in your keynote panel. Come on, man. Yes, you did. I also inspired you with all the work that I do in my community. Granted. You forgot that, too? That right, Pete? I mean, he's technically correct. Wow. Well, listen, I also helped Carl Bean uh, open up a hot dog shop. You know him, right? Yeah, of All course. Right. Yeah, big fan of Carl's. Known him since he was a little kid. Very nice. A fan of his, but not his hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty little things. I'm strictly a carnivore myself. Okay, I also helped Tina, uh, uh, Tina Moser, Lance DeMeo, uh, sell a record number of skateboards. Put myself in harm's way, by the way. That he did. But how many NBA players do you know that skateboard on weekends? Not many. Not many, right? So boom. So I'm comparing myself to a chef, and he does what for his community? What? Nothing last time I checked, okay. right? Nothing. Okay. Pete, come on, man. Oh, yo, what happened with the uh, the friends and family thing? Oh, that was friends and family? Yeah, oh, head of marketing, oh, bro. Okay, what happened? Okay. I think we're missing the point here, MP. All right, this, this isn't personal. It's strictly a numbers thing. Uncle Bobby here is trying to go national, which means he needs someone with a national profile. Chef already has a signature shoe deal, three national endorsement deals. I mean, do, do you have any signature shoe deals? Well, well, actually, do you have any national endorsement deals? We actually have a lot of irons in the fire right now. Irons in the fire. As a matter of fact, you know what? Right now? I like you, kid. I think you're solid, and I can see that you got spirit. So I'll tell you, here's what I'm going to do for you. Whoa, whoa, Uncle Bobby! Before you make I got this, Pete. Yeah, take a step back. Now. Little Petey's media plan calls for a national commercial, but we're a long way from shooting. So I'll tell you what, you get your national profile on the same level as Shep's, then we can talk about the possibility of you starring in that commercial. How's that sound? Uh, Uncle Bobby, whoa, whoa. I already showed you Shep's likability profile. His Z rating is off the charts. Are you gonna, like I said, if MP here can raise his level to the level of Shep's, then he's got your little C rating or whatever it is. Where's the harm? I suppose. Yeah, yeah, sure. If, if, if you can significantly raise your Done. Z rating. Uncle B, Uncle B, I'm so confident in my team, we will definitely get those done. Oh, got you. I'm not sure that's all up to your team. You know, you gotta play pretty good to get those done. Really good. I gotta play good. Uncle B, no disrespect, but come on. <laughs> I does. got this. I like that. I like, hey, I've got this charity thing coming up. You should come through. We're uh, opening a court I built down in the business district. Be a lot of big ballers there. And you. Nah, <laughs> I'm just messing with the kid. You'll come, right? Absolutely, I'll be there, man. <sighs> Uncle B, man. Hmm. Thank you for the invite. I appreciate it, man, for real. Don't mention it. Look forward to seeing you. Likewise. PD. PD. Yeah. Don't mess this up, man. You a hater, fuck you, nigga. Yo, yo, that was, that was a nice job, man. You ain't back down, you should be proud of that. Yeah, but I wish it would happen sooner. All right, but, I mean, we're all trying our best, MP. Look, this business is unpredictable. Look, man, you know what I want to tell you? I'm really trying to stay angry at you right now. 
Like for real, for real. That... That billboard of Shep in front of our office is like a smack in the face. No, 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 for real. Like, after all the hard work that I put in, I get it. No, 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 and then I find out your boy Peter Rabbit was behind it. Look, Peter Rabbit is not my boy, man. You know this. Look, I have been hashtag Team MP since day one, ha son. Hashtag Team MP from day one, huh? Have I not? <laughs> <laughs> I can even stay mad at you, man. Look, all right, now that you're back on my side, let's strategize how we gonna take care of this charity game. All right, we can do that, we can do that. All right, yo, boom. I got a thought. Let me handle the charity game. You handle the endorsement deals. How'd that sound? Okay. okay. You know what? You're right. I know you got right. this. I know I got this. <laughs> hey, in ass Urkel. Bro, what you recording, bro? Everybody left. Hey, welcome to the store. See something you like? All right, bro. We finna pull up to that radio station like these, nigga. Let's get it. Yo, what's going on? You already know what it is. It's your boy DJ, and you are back in the mix. And we got a special guest right now, my homie, Come my on. brother from another. You know him, you love him, or unless you don't. <laughs> MP is in the house. My what's man, up, man? My man, what up, what up, DJ? I can't complain, man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I just want to catch up with you and see what's going on, man. I want to see how my favorite baller slash rapper is doing, and I'm wondering if you have any other professions that you plan on pursuing, bro. Oh, you got jokes, man. Mr. Quit Basketball the DJ, you got jokes. Me? No, yeah. I'm not getting on you. I'm just saying, oh, man. Oh, shit, you're okay. You're a man of many talents just like myself. <laughs> All right, well, in that case, I'm here to formally uh, declare my candidacy for governor. Ha! Formally. This guy, man, you need to add comedian to the list. Look, um, you do keep us guessing, right? So that track that you dropped with Demo, it came out of nowhere, bro. Talk about that. <laughs> Come on, DJ. I got to keep you on your toes, man. I don't want you to know what's coming up, but just when you think you got me figured out, boom. I got to go. Change wow. the game. Wow. Look like at the that. confidence on this, I'm man. I'm telling you. So so does this mean an album is in the works now? Oh, come on, DJ. I don't know, man. I don't know about all that, but uh, I will tell you this. A few weeks ago, I thought I was just a basketball player, and that's it. And then I dropped this track, and it turns out I'm actually five on the mic. Yeah, and now you're on a track with Bob. Exactly. So anything's possible, you feel me? I mean... You just gotta sit back and wait for me to decide which world I wanna take over. So MP, tell me more about how you got together with Boz and Elite. Mm -hmm. All right, so check this out. So Boz heard the check that I did with Demo. So then he thought that maybe there was a chance that we could do something together. So then he then asked me to stop by Dreamville. Wow, yeah. that's great. That's yeah. major, man. It, look, it's gotta be flattering to have artists of that caliber reach out to man, you. Man, yo, DJ, man, so flattering, but also at the same time, empowering, you feel me? Because like, when you're in that booth and you look out and you see Boz and Elite having your back, that's a whole different level of confidence right there. You know what I'm saying? So they made my job easy that day. <laughs> now this sounds like a great experience, MP. Mm -hmm. But I know firsthand that the organization may not always love these extracurriculars. Now do you, do you think that they're worried that this might pull you away from basketball? Man, fuck them niggas, they wanna trade me. DJ, check this out, man. I am never gonna be the best version of myself if I don't follow my passions. Wherever they may take me, man. Yes, I'm a basketball player and I love playing ball, but what does that mean if I can't do other things as well? Hey, brother, you are preaching to the choir. Come on. Okay. I mean, it's crazy to me. I mean, people never look at the positive side of things like that. How do they know that spending an afternoon in the studio won't help me in the court? I'm more relaxed, I'm inspired. Plus, basketball is all about rhythm, right? So it can't hurt spending some time over a sick beat. 
Oh, man. He came in here to preach today, <laughs> folks. Listen, I love what I am hearing, MP. So, look, if you ever release any more music, you know you got a home here in the mix. My oh, nigga, my love, nigga. My guy, love. man. I appreciate you coming through. Nah, I appreciate my you coming through. My nigga DJ. Me, All right, folks, we're going to kick it to commercials, but uh, again, you're listening to DJ in the mix. Yo. Yeah. All right, y'all have a good day now, all right? Coach Grace wants to see me. All right, nigga. I'll pull up. Let's see what this nigga wants real quick. Everything all right, Coach? I don't know. Have a seat. What's going on? Just wondering if you feel okay. Because your flow is sick! <laughs> Seriously, Coach. Seriously! I was just listening to that new track you dropped. It's amazing! Yeah? You should make it your inner ring of music. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You got talent. People are going to love this. Okay. Just one suggestion. The next one you do, you got to give a little shout out to me. Okay? Okay. I got you. Coach Wayne Graves is the best around. He writes at the plays and I slam it down. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Okay. <laughs> Just off the top of my head. I know you probably know something better. Right? Yo, Coach, you are wild, man. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do. And thank you for the feedback and the little show you just put on. All right. That's my coach, you know what I'm saying? We smoke together and shit. Cool. All right, niggas, y'all ready? Y'all ready? 